Hi, I'm Elin. And I'm Carl. This is our paper, Understanding Regularized Spectral Clustering via Graph Conductance. We like to study graphs. Here's a brain graph. Here's some social networks. Given a graph, a common problem is trying to find the communities or clusters in that graph. These authors found Republicans and Democrats in the pattern of blog networks uh, given only the graph. One way to find communities in the network is to do spectral clustering. It partitions the network based on the eigenvectors. However, in practice, it always finds small communities with just a few nodes because the eigenvectors localizes to just a few nodes. Regularization can solve this problem. Regularization adds a tiny edge between every pair of the nodes on the network. Regularization delocalizes the eigenvector, and in this way, we can find communities with more nodes which are more balanced and more interesting for us. So why does this happen? Our approach uses graph conductance and studies the noise to try and make sense of this phenomenon. A key notion is a G-dangling set. Here's a, -dang a six-dangling set. Uh, it has six nodes and it connects back to the graph with one edge. These things have super small conductance, and spectral clustering likes sets with small conductance. So spectral clustering is likely to find this set. And the big problem is that these sets are created as an artifact of noise. In sparse and stochastic graphs, like erdos renyi there are loads and loads of them. Think about what would happen in regression. What would you say if the model perfectly interpolated the data with a mean squared error of zero? You'd say that that's overfitting. And what spectral clustering does is it overfits to conductance. Don't be fooled by that randomness. Why does regularization fix this, Elin? Because regularization changes the graph conductance. Spectral clustering on the regularized graph finds clusters with which approximately minimize a different notion of conductance, which we call the core cut. This core cut tends to find the core sets instead of peripheral sets with small nodes. Here is a uh, here is an example network with two core sets and several peripheral sets with several nodes. Without conductance, uh, without regularization, graph conductance tends to find uh, peripheral sets since they have smaller conductance. The regularization increases the graph conductance of the peripheral sets more significantly and doesn't affect the core sets that much. With regularization, the graph conductance core cut tends to find the core sets instead of the peripheral sets. Thanks for listening.